Hello and welcome to Birmingham. The Birmingham version of a wall. That weird looking building there behind me. I'm about to take a bit of put him in his place, gonna head to the truth of being. Oh, you're good, you're good, just shot. Welcome to the area of Bourneville. Today I have linked up with a friend, he's been on the channel before, but last time we were together, it was in Mexico. What's fun. going on, my brother? See you again, bro. It's fantastic to see you, my guy. So, how are you settling back in to Birmingham life? Bro, it's, it's a strange transition when you've uh, when you've lived on the other side of the world yeah. and then coming back to your hometown because you have all these memories. And it is very different, very different cultures, but it's good to be back on the grind. Yeah. You miss in Mexico? Oh, man. How, how hey, ladies. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you this guy doing? always on it, always oh, on it. Uh, <laughs> uh, how, how, could, how could you not miss it? I mean, the culture, the food. Yeah. Women, I might say that one quiet. No, no, you, no, you can be honest. Like, <laughs> it is a good life out in Mexico, oh, man, fun. and I miss it completely. Yeah. I miss the freedom, the just the, the sun shining on your face, you know? The weather makes a big difference because when you're like looking up the sky and the sun's just blinding down on you, it just it adds to a positive energy. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. But first impressions of Birmingham, bro, it's busy. It's not bad, isn't it? Yeah, uh, very uh, multicultural. Yeah, very multicultural city. It's actually England's second city, which a lot of people, people think it's Manchester, but it's actually Birmingham. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's second biggest city in England. We've got, this is the center area, Bullring Shopping Centre. Yeah. And, uh, this bit's actually quite, quite decent, to be fair. Yeah, it's jam-packed. And the Sutton, Liverpool and Birmingham have in common is people like to take the mic out of the Liverpool accent and also <laughs> the Birmingham accent. Yeah. I think we're the bottom two on nah, I, worst I, accents in the UK. I think we both know who's bottom now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's the Brummies. Personally, like, I like it. You know, most of my cousins are in Coventry and that. They've got a similar accent. And I quite, I quite like it. Yeah. You've got, you've got quite a team accent though, don't you? Yeah, my, mine's not too strong. I'm, I'm a... Hey okay, fellas. I'm what they might call the, uh, the, the, the Birmingham version of a wolf. <laughs> 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 yeah, you see that that's going on TikTok. <laughs> what do you think of the wall thing on my TikTok, bro? See, I was I was seeing it in all the comments, and I was like, at first I was just confused because I was like, what what the fuck does this even mean? Because if you're not from Liverpool, you have no idea. And I went on Google, searched it up, and I went on a whole journey of discovery about Liverpool culture, and I was like, oh, to me, I don't know. It's just strange because I think, at the end of the day, what difference does it make anyway? Thing is, like. I have a lot of things in my life I'm quite happy about and proud of. And if I was from somewhere else, I'd still be proud of them things. Yeah. But um, to a lot of people, being from Liverpool might be the sole identity. Honestly, to me, if you want to think or say I'm from somewhere else, I'll admit my accent's not the strongest. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. As long as I just keep focused on my actual goals, I'm happy in life. Yeah, man. Well, I imagine the goal is to... Uh to leave Liverpool anyway in the long term. Yeah, yeah, li literally. But I do love it, man. I oh, do love course, yeah. the people and everything. Few few issues in the city right now, you might have heard about it, but. Yeah, I saw on, uh, on the news, it's looking a bit crazy. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go and speak to a few people in Birmingham and ask about the city, ask what it's like. Hey bro, are you good? You wanna be on YouTube? Yeah. Nah, cool, cool, cool. Not fast. not everyone does, you know. It's cool. Got to get people like that. When it's right as well. But look, my name's Zach. I'm a YouTuber. I just come into Birmingham today, first time here. Well, I've been when I was a young kid, but uh, first time here as an adult. What do you think about the city? The city is more right. Yeah. Lots of gang violence. There's a lot of gang violence. Yeah. And where is that? Is that in the city centre? Or is that it's in on? The different areas. Yeah. Home. Yeah, where, where is probably the most dangerous part? Newtown, um, Aston, Hansard. Yeah, I, that's a shame. But overall, you like Birmingham? Yeah. It's very multicultural. What ethnicity are you boys? Bengali. Bengali? Oh yeah, fantastic. Well, nice to meet you guys and um, thank you. If there's anything you want to shout out, Fair enough. No, it's cool, boys. <laughs> nice cool. to meet you. It's Zach Jones. So what's this over here, man? So this is called a uh, pigeon park. Pigeon park. Obviously known for the all pigeons. The, uh, the pigeons, but <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. this park has a bit of a funny reputation in Birmingham. Like, oh yeah, what's so the reputation? 
<laughs> just like Ben, he's coming here and uh, drinking okay. off. And That's why that, we've, so. we've came here, though. Oh, yeah. You yeah. want to get a, some paints? <laughs> get some dark bruises. No, nah, but it is it's quite nice here, to be fair. Yeah, it's not a bad spot, actually. Yeah. So where's this, bro? This is interesting. Yeah, this is the main square. You know what? I'm such a phony Brummie because I don't even know the name of this square. And uh -huh. I've been here a million times in my life. But what's the concept of this place right here, bro, with this music? Yeah, you want to head back in there for one, sir? Yeah, there's a couple of uh, museums around this area and a lot of these different buildings where I think some of them are actually free to walk in as well, so you can see. But, um, yeah. See, this thing here was definitely put up uh, for the Commonwealth Games because obviously, obviously Birmingham oh, okay. is close to the Commonwealth Games. Yeah. So, you know, you can't be too loud around here, you know? No, nah, it's all right. No day game in Brom for you then. Oh wow. Filming. Yeah. Yo guys, it's NDM Genesis. Today's uh Birmingham rep showing Zach around. Yeah. Now uh, we obviously met out in uh, Cancun, innit? Yeah. And uh, we're in an uh, equally beautiful setting today. <laughs> no, oh yeah, Birmingham. equally beautiful. Some some may say. Now nah, <laughs> obviously it's not quite the same. The women aren't quite as beautiful. No offense, Birmingham ladies, sorry. The biggest library in Europe. Now you can fact check me if you think it's wrong. I hope that's right. But I'll spin the camera around. See if we can see that. See, I'm trying to like pan it so it's all in shot. Has this been has this been here all your life? No, this is a uh, pretty newly built actually. Yeah, it so, looks it like. Yeah, I think this was built in about maybe about 10 years ago, something like that. Yeah. So And then what's this thing over here, bro? You know? This is, is it, um Is there like a meaning behind it? Well, Birmingham is famous for the uh the ball. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this oh, is obviously course, like a yeah. replication of um, of the, the the famous ball, which is by the ball ring, which we'll go to in a bit. Okay. Where people always take pictures by. That's just a small I'm one. Sorry. This is like a big, you know, a big uh, recreation or something. Cool. Yeah, it looks pretty cool though. And there's something else about Birmingham I didn't know until now that you told me just before. Yeah. So um, this is actually the area where I grew up, but uh, Bourneville, an area in Birmingham, is where uh, Cadbury's chocolate is from. So you see Cadbury's chocolate everywhere. You see Bourneville on the chocolate. We're, yeah, we're definitely gonna go to Bourneville later and try it out. It might be dark, but like, regardless. Yeah, yeah. And you can, uh, I actually played for Cadbury's football team. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. yeah. And uh, you can smell chocolate on the pitch. I didn't even know it was based there, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let's, let's see this library. I bet you're coming out all the time to study, you know? I mean, if I was a student, I might, but. I used to come in here, me and my friend, we uh, we went to we went to school actually, we went to Bourneville school, another little tangent there. Really? And, uh, yeah, 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 so we went to Bourneville school and every day we used to get our bikes after school and cycle up the canal in Birmingham Yeah. and uh, come here after school and we'd say we'd been revised and we'd end up just, you know, <laughs> just having, a having a bit of fun. It's massive, but, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's huge. You see, it's got a nice, uh, nice interior. Yeah. So, uh, just for the people, bro, introduce yourself, tell everyone a little bit about you. Yeah, yeah, so if you didn't catch me in the Mexico vlogs, I was out there with Zach, uh, living in Cancun, and I was living out in Mexico for six months. So, um, yeah, Zach hit me up on Insta and he's like, he saw that I'd posted a TikTok out in Cancun, mm -hmm. working out, and he's like, oh, I'm going as well. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we linked up, became friends, and yeah, now we're, we're linking up again in Birmingham, but yeah. I, uh, I also make music. So my name is NDM Genesis. Uh, we're just about to head to the studio now, three till six. I'm a producer and an artist. Dropped my first song about two weeks ago and I got videos coming up. So watch this space. Yeah, make sure to go and subscribe to NDM Genesis, man. Library settings. Are you into books? What, is that your opening line? Yeah. <laughs> The biggest library in Europe, fellas. Yeah. That's why we And also in here there is um a balcony at the top which we'll go out to where you can look over look over the city. Yeah. yeah man. I thought the thing that was cool about him was the fact that he made it cool for young boys to look up to someone who was well spoken and someone who could express themselves. It was like he was doing the fucking lifestyle stuff with the Lambos and the girls and the watches and all this, but yet he was so eloquent in his speech, and I thought that was a that was a beautiful and an inspiring thing. Yeah, yeah. something that I really want to learn to be able to do. Yeah. 
Well, you're in the right place for it, bro. We've got books all around them. Yeah, well, the books. <laughs> Interesting fact, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Birmingham has actually got more canals than Venice. That's a fact. Yeah, I believe it. It's crazy. I just went to Venice recently, actually, just got back from Italy. Oh, yeah. Beautiful place. It, it is honestly in Europe my favourite, especially in terms of nature. Where is your favourite place? <sighs> Venice is definitely up there, cities-wise. Mm, yeah. It's one of them, I thought it was going to be overrated. Because yeah. it's like so many people go there, but yes. I thought it was incredible. You do get that vibe about Italy if you hadn't been like, is this going to be overrated? Yeah. It genuinely isn't. Where else did you go? Uh, so I went to Venice, um, Verona, another beautiful city in the yeah. north of Italy, not really so famous. Yeah. Um, and then I spent three weeks in the mountains. Three, and, three uh, weeks? Yeah, yeah, three wow. weeks, some time with family. It was a... Uh, it's beautiful man whenever you go into nature like that you yeah. I feel like it's something that just like reconnects with your with your um your primal form of living like, mm. that's how we always used to live and you're italian yeah so i'm quarter italian so as you can see that's why i've got a little bit of the, uh, grandfather bit of the yeah skin. actually yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you you go on the sunbeds no 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 this is all uh, natural <laughs> all, all time mexico yeah. okay and you have metros going through the city we don't have yeah, that in yeah. little foot oh no yeah. yeah we have uh this is quite new actually, it's only been around three or four years I think. Mm. I was in town and uh, I was with my friend after college and we were just walking past and uh, you know the rapper JK? Yeah, 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 I was listening to him driving in. Yeah, oh uh, man, yeah, man, man. Too fake. Yeah, we were outside uh, we were outside the mailbox and I was going to my mate, oh right, that guy looks like JK. We were just we were just <laughs> far away. We got up to him and I was like, oh shit, it's, J it's JK. And he, and he went, you're right, let's shook our hands. <laughs> Before I was like making music myself, I also wanted to be a producer and like produce for other rappers so uh, I've met uh, Mitch who's also from Birmingham you've seen him yep. and uh, Mowgli as well Mo's. Yep. Yeah, yeah I've met them too in studio sessions they were sound guys oh, wow. and uh, talent guys have you got anything you want to record in this year today or just want to make music I think today's going to be a creative one with, let's, uh, let's make something yeah, yeah we'll make something first. from scratch from obviously I've been doing music yeah. myself and uh, it's took a little bit of a backseat to, to YouTube right now but honestly a big part of why I do this YouTube is because I was making music and nothing was popping off but if I blow vlogging then I can put out music by the yeah. way guys here's a song and yeah, yeah. it has worked for me like from youtube i've got more views on the music yeah. and that's just gonna continue to be the case yeah. and let's make something together yeah man let's make a banger but my guy's so talented man i appreciate that bro yeah. oh what's good guys ndm genesis I'm about to preview that my new song it's a freestyle straight bars free the top g that's all i'm saying <laughs> let's see I remember when life was peak, I had to go ahead and climb that mountain. Ain't it busting out in three weeks, I'm assuming I stole my hat like a child in one of them buildings. Man, it's too meat, they'll live on this beat, really, and I'm about it. Ain't yeah. the top G, we all know who it be, but the boss won't allow it. I had a storm and I won't play the victim I'm torn it, all got a terrible system She took me back to my bed Now I live rent free in her head And I won't get evicted Ain't got jokes but I still haven't missed it Serious business Roger's past and they hide you wisdom Got controlled by the fairies vision Spores their lies and I declare them the realest It's a cold world, they don't care for your feelings Now I'm on strike and I'm sparing these women You can't pull me over Got a bit older But scared I keep composure Come from prom like Rover What a despair I'm living Got a chocolate darling and we in a Claire When I'm feeling good agree What's right to the top I've got light like a beam I'm shining Look, took the red pill cause I I already go hard, know a lot of haters and lambings to flow Could be the reincarnation of Mozart Where I'm composing a load of my drops And it can get far, I know I go so far There's no holding the throat for my buds yeah. Right, you wanna make some music? Yeah man, let's It's been crazy. a while, I look forward yeah. to making some music Getting with you back in the game, come on man. Oh, come on what, what, what are you doing regarding beats? Have you got beats? Mate, have I got beats? That's have you got beats? That's what beats have you got spare bro? Two verses Spare. One for me, one for you. I've got beats in my head that we're about to create. Oh, from scratch. We've got, from scratch. We've got three hours, bro. From Let's scratch. make it. Three a... hours. We'll make a whole Let's song. Let's make a hit. Make a whole song. Oh, my God. It's been a while. I've switched to my phone camera, by the way. Yeah. I've got I've got the charger for this GoPro. The one bad thing about this GoPro is the charge. The battery life's terrible on it. Pay for four, four ton for the. All part of the journey, but it's yeah. difficulties here and there. Yeah, it is better camera though than the iPhone. Like my vlogs have leveled up from when I got the camera in Morocco, etc. Let's try it. 
try some things out. Definitely. Big drop. Oh. Sisters, see me on the horizon of mine, going after big dreams. I remember them days I was out of time. Now I find you meaning. Only y'all can replace blue feelings. Global enslavement, pervasive matrix. Know how to escape Houdini. I'm inspired by Tate, but they put him in his place because I hate to see the truth revealing. Yeah, chasing greatness, masculine drives, an elusive feeling. Oof, I ain't losing semen. Life force stop with these seducive demons in my own zone. Yeah. Hard to understand the reclusive dream. I remember them days when I was out of time. Now I found you meaning. Only I can replace blue feelings. Global enslavement, pervasive matrix. No how to escape with me. I'm inspired by a tape, but it put him in his place. Gonna head to the truth of feeling. Chasing greatness, masculine drives, and elusive feelings. Yeah, I ain't losing semen. Life force down with seducing demons. In my own zone, yeah. Hard to understand the reclusive dream. Italian carbonara came a long way from the Carvazara. A new week in a new place, got a new goal, and I'm really trying to find my son. Yeah, just watch by the time I'm done. Hey, got it first time, bro. Yeah, it should be alright. Let me hear it, bro. Yes. Throwing it on in your face. Just watch by the time I'm done. Yeah, that's nice, bro. So, we've got some fire in the end Genesis titles. Oh. Man himself, Zach Jones. Hey, you guys on the channel, not, not used to this, but uh, I grew up in this kind of environment. Seeing me on the horizon of mine, going after big dreams. I remember them days I was out of time. Now I found you mean. Only I can replace two feelings. Global enslavement, pervasive matrix. Know how to escape Houdini. I'm inspired by a tape, but I put him in his place. Gonna hit the truth for feeling. Chasing greatness, masculine drives, and elusive feelings. Because whilst you're talking, I've been grinding. Rubbing it all in your face. Hey. Chances Money I'm making, my car is a gem, I'm a woman Ukrainian, parts of Italian, carbonara, came a long way from the car bazaar. New week and a new place, got a new ball, and I'm really trying to fry my soul. Yeah, yeah. Just watch by the time I'm done. 22 bum rise, 16s. Seeing me on the horizon, I'm mine. Going out, big dreams. I remember the days I was out of time. Now I found you mean. Only y'all can replace blue feelings. Global enslavement, pervasive matrix. Hey, jeez! Come on, bro. So, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. First the many, first the many. In the back when you're doing it, I reckon you put in the background. Yeah, that melody, yeah. I'm gonna hum that as a shout. we will figure it out. Another 30 minutes just getting everything on point. Oh, bro, like, I'm, I'm gonna mix this fully. Like, this is pure rawness. Like, we just yeah. recorded this. Wait till this is polished. Yeah. That's cool. a good thing about the can do it with top off. Yeah. So he's only using the blue, blue marks, whatever they're called. <laughs> yeah, mom. Well played. Go on. Well played. Yeah, man. Nice. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's 
talk me through it, bro. Alright. So, so you got that one and that one. So that's, what would you recommend? So think about trying to be efficient with your energy. So try to use the least amount of energy possible. So uh, get your left foot on there and then your right foot up there. And then hang backwards. Like, don't be afraid to hang back. Stay calm and just hang backwards. Yeah. Get your right foot on top of there. Get it on top. Okay. Is it? Is it still filming, bro? It's like gone black on the screen. It's still yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Controlled. Engage your abs. So stay calm. Oh shit, yeah just drop, you're good, you're good, just drop. Yeah you're good bro, just drop, it's cool. <laughs> it's a good try, it's a good try. It's daunting when you're up there. Oh uh, yeah. Well, well for me first time. Yeah 100%. When I'm you liking it, it though bro. Time. It's difficult. Good mental challenge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. sure. Because like, see how you kind of swing around quite a lot. You'll yeah. get to a point where it becomes very natural and you're just used to it. Yeah. But when I first started, I was like the same way. Yeah. So what's this place called? It's called Depot Climbing, in Birmingham. Welcome to the area. Hello. I wasn't even waving at me, but welcome to the area of Bourneville. The place, the place in which Cadbury's chocolate originates. I didn't even know there was a place called Bourneville. But uh, Bourneville chocolate, it's a dark Cadbury's chocolate and it is very tasty. I'm going to drive into Bourneville, to the area of Bourneville, Birmingham. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see what there is to see. So this is where you grew up? Yeah, man. Childhood, childhood settings, Bourneville. Yeah. This is your school here? No, no, this is uh, this is the chocolate factory here. No way. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Interesting. So um, when you come here, I used to play football on these fields out here. You can't really see it because it's a little bit dark. Yeah. But you'd go out on Sunday morning, play football on the fields, and you'd smell chocolate whilst you were playing. No way. It's beautiful. You'd smell the chocolate being made. I'm trying to smell it now, look. Yeah, yeah, no luck. Yeah, they're probably... Uh, Probably out of hours at the moment. Yeah. yeah but um, yeah. It doesn't even look like a factory, under. does it? But yeah, that's where you yeah. used to play football and you played for Cadbury's. So the company of Cadbury's actually got taken over by a, an American corporation called Kraft. And uh, I don't know when this was. I think it was around like 2010 or something. And uh, I remember at the time it was a big controversial thing because Cadbury's was like actually one of the main things that started the whole growth of Birmingham. So yeah. back when this was first built, there was no houses around here or anything. Mm -hmm. It was just pure countryside. Mm. And um, what they did is like the Cabri's uh, family, they came in and they made like really sustainable living for all of the people here. And they gave like, they used to pay their workers mad. They gave them all a nice house and that. They gave them all a little house. They built whole houses for all their workers, all their employees. Really? And that's what built up all this whole area. That's interesting. Yeah. So all the houses around this, were on the drive in, it's pretty much i can get hints of chocolate um i think maybe i'm just making that one maybe, maybe, maybe it's the placebo maybe a little bit but <laughs> if you come in the day you yeah. smell it really strongly legit yeah. that's crazy it looks like a school bro this is why i was like oh did you come to school there yeah, yeah. i knew you went to school in bourneville as well yeah, right yeah. and they do um they do tours of the factory in the day as well yeah so you can go have a tour of the factory see how the chocolate's made and at the end of it you get um big bowl of melted chocolate and then you put it like whatever you want in it and, uh, it's fucking fire but i'm not on that because i'm on the self improvement right now, yeah so fuck that shit yeah but actually broccoli go and do it though because i'm bigging up my local tourism but for yeah. me it's not for me okay that's mad. might have to dip some protein in it or something all right <laughs> i left all the other labels you got up here so okay the shit they're making. i didn't know the trebo was um cabris or trebo oh, they make the grenade as well here that's, that's mad protein mad, mad. yeah yeah i'm on I'm on it and the, the, the cushioned 
walls look like chocolate. Oh yeah, yeah, I never noticed that. What was it like growing up in Birmingham? Or? In in this area of Birmingham specifically, it was actually a really nice place to grow up because because of what I was talking about previously, where they created all these houses and nice green space. The area of Bourneville is a very, um, it's like a quiet and spacious area. And it's not necessarily really rich, but it's like a good quality of living. Mm. And um, like, there's a nice amount of space. You can walk around in the streets, it's very safe. And uh, there's a lot of really nice parks and a lot of greenery. Oh, yeah. So uh, I'd say growing in this area was nice, but obviously like any other city, there are areas about me which stay in. Yeah. So to end off the video, we're heading to Roheath Park. I don't know if they're one of me. Was, was my man beeping me from like 200 meters away? Yeah. So this is Roheath Park and supposedly there's a very nice view of the city. Yeah. What are you, what are you saying about Roheath Park? Like, like, yeah, this is a very, uh, very special place to me. You know, walking around here as a, as a child, playing football here on the fields as a child. And then, uh, exploring other facets of life here <laughs> as a young as a young adult <laughs> yeah, and um politically correct way of putting it and uh, yeah you got a little bar there show the football they might have won the champions league games so i know it's super clever little look at mm. um but there's a little bench down here where you go and sit and you can see the uh city center lights yeah and it's a it's a very nostalgic kind of reflective view it's mm. very useful. you can appreciate this in any state of mind yeah man Looking at the city lights at night. Uh, come in the middle of the night and just sit and think. Right. At the moment, there's people in the pub, so it's like uh, it's a bit loud. But this is dead quiet and this is dead safe. Like you, you can come in the middle of the night and you're good. Yeah. Feels it. Yeah. What is next for your life, man? It's getting deep on the Roheath bench. I know. The like it's, the, it's the lights. Man. It's the lights. What's next for my life is uh elevation grinding becoming what i know i'm destined to be mm. and you know i think in life we have these um i think deep down we all know what we're capable of but we have so much short-term comfort that just holds us back from achieving it and i've reached a point of realization where i saw what was holding me back and now i'm just ready to conquer and push the boundaries respect bro it's and where can where can people find you online so uh, go follow me at NDM Genesis on Instagram. So it's G E N three S I S, and uh, that's the hub of all the stuff that I do. And uh, I got loads of music on the way, and I try and make music that's really gonna push the boundaries and change the way people think and inspire people to to push themselves past the limits that they place on themselves. Because you know we're capable of so much more, and I wanna I wanna show you that through my music and through my life. Respect, man. We met, we met in Mexico, but we will remain friends for life. 100% bro. Yeah, man. It's been a pleasure, brother. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Right, guys. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video, wherever that may be. I don't even know yet, but thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. See you in a bit. Peace.